Welcome back to YC. We are live here at Camperdown Plaza, enjoying this beautiful new color of a mural that's been added here to the plaza. And we wanted to introduce you to the three artists that uh, did this piece of work. And they're doing all types of amazing work across the city with the Brandon Fellows program. We have three, the three Brandon Fellows for this year here with us. I'm going to start with Orlando. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, for, first of all, for people who don't know about the Greenville Center for Creative Arts or the Brandon Fellows program, what, what does that mean? Yeah, so the Greenville Center for Creative Arts is an art center that focuses on artists and focuses on for emerging artists as well. So the Brandon Fellowship is a program that gives a studio to art, three artists in here in the upstate. They give them mentorship and they give them free classes. So it's a really good opportunity for emerging artists, you know, to get out there and, you know, start finding ways to work here in your community. And it's a 12-month program, so you guys get to do all types of projects. I got to see you at the Hispanic Alliance where you got to work with your, your little sister on, yeah. on some things as well. Tell us about your art and what you try to, to tackle and tap into through your pieces. Yeah, so a lot of my artwork is inspired by my culture. So this actually painting that I have next to me is a painting of my town. And it's a story about love and how love connects, you know, when you're younger and finding about who you are. So. And I'd imagine the fellowship allows you to more time to be focused on art and projects and working on new collaborations too. Yeah, it's a great opportunity. Like I said, you meet a lot of interesting people. You get to work with different organizations and get connected. Because a lot of the times, you know, the art is there. It's just you need that support and you need that spotlight on. Awesome. And they can find out more about your work by going to the Green Greenville Center for Creative Arts and looking at the, the fellowship program. Yes, correct. The fellowship opens soon. It opens in May. And you'll feel free to apply. Like I said, you know, if you have any questions, come to our studio. We're located at the Grimble Center for Creative Arts. Awesome. And we, we love all the pieces that you've been able to, 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 to show us here. And we've had some on the screen as well. Ramin Stallings is our next uh, Brandon Fellow. Tell us about your, your piece here. I'm going to get on this side so we don't block it. Yes, sir. <laughs> so basically, this piece is an impromptu piece. I did this at a live paint event um it took about 30 minutes to create and just trying to really get a lot of passion in the brush strokes as well as the different color mixing and science here and is that something that we see that's pretty typical in your style of work and your other pieces as well a lot of my work i do very quickly i specialize in acrylic but even at artisphere when i was live performing there i just love to get that personal raw energy and that engagement what was it like working on, on this piece? We know that this is kind of a, a, a vinyl sticker, but you guys had to come up with the artwork, working on some, some digital projects to get this to come out. Yeah, we just specialize in taking a lot of the passion. We take a lot of uh, music, musical inspirations, and we just really wanted to make sure that we started off the first annual jazz festival right. You know, we wanted to make sure that all the energy and all the proper placement was there, so we spent a lot of energy in this one. And you've enjoyed the, the Brandon Fellowship? The fellowship has really changed my art career. It made a full 360, and we've been able to do so many opportunities between being in museums, performing at art festivals, and just working for a lot of charities and nonprofits. That's been a blessing. Awesome. Well, we, we love your work. It's adding lots of creative culture and, and good energy to the city. So thank you so much for, for sharing that with us. Faith Hudgens is our final Brandon uh, Fellow. Thank you so much for being here. Yes. Hi. My name is Faith Hudgens. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about your, your work. So this abstract piece I actually did at Artisphere. Um, it's a piece about planting seeds and letting the seeds grow from within you outward. We had the opportunity to connect with a lot of families and children. So um, it just inspired me to create this piece out in Artisphere. Awesome. And, and, and the other pieces that we're seeing on the screen there, is there something that if, if someone looks at your work, they're like, Faith definitely did this. Is there something that they can kind of easily tap into and say this is iconic of her work? Absolutely. Most of my pieces focus on women and women empowerment. Um, you're able to identify my work because the subject matter is the woman. I use a lot of bold and bright, vibrant colors. Um, I focus on realism and oil painting mostly, uh, but I do like to dabble in different mediums such as abstract and acrylic. Awesome. And we, we love artists, but we know artists love to sell their work. They, they don't want to keep all the work. They want to <laughs> sell it. So we'll be sure to put a link to all of these artists. So if you want some commission things or some different things like that, you can definitely go online and, and, and do that. Uh, I want to talk to Orlando on the, our way out. Are there any other projects that you guys are working on collaboratively through the, the Brandon Fellowship that people can be looking forward to? Yeah. So we have a final exhibition in August at the Grimble Center for Creative Arts. And like I said, we're always looking for more opportunities to work with more charity organizations who want to impact more school systems. We also don't work with the Greenwood County school system. We go to schools, teach seminars, and do workshops with the students. And then, it, like, you know, with this mural is a testament. We want to do more public art in the city, you know. Yeah. 
So we're just looking for those opportunities to get out there and you know, do more, you know, for the community as well. Well, we're thankful for all that you guys do to make the city a more colorful place. And we, we get to enjoy, we're the beneficiaries of this beautiful one every day. So thank you guys so much. We'll put a link to the Greenville Center for Creative Arts at our website, yourcarolina.tv, for those who are interested in being a part of the program next year or even reaching out to these artists to do some type of collaboration with art. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate it. Yes.